How's it going guys? Welcome back for more P5R. I hope you're all okay and safe. Lalo na sunod-sunod yung pasok ng bagyo dito ngayon. Hindi ko lang alam if naririnig nyo yung wind and ambon from the background. So anyways, while this weather is giving us cuddly vibes, yakapin mo na yung unan mo while watching. At least yan, walang reklamo. <laughs> Joke. So, so I won't say anything much about this episode para hindi kayo ma-spoil sa mga mangyayari ngayon. However, I know you'll enjoy this one in particular. Anyways, before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if di pa kayo subscribe para updated kayo lagi. So, let's go! Something happen. Please don't take off my mask, revealing dark. Whoa! Well. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. All right. It's almost time. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? 
I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms, and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, a former art instructor. He must have felt something for you, too. Besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart, either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again.
You s Justine, these are the paths you have walked. This persona? A fee is required. Then accept this persona. This pers- A fee is required. Then accept this persona. Done already? What? It is time, inmate.
Everyone. Good evening. I feel indebted. Everyone. Yes. I shall ask you again another time.
How tragic. Oh good, you haven't gone home yet. Nijimisan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? She says there's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. What's telling me that isn't going to get you out of this. The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. Got it? Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? What can she want? get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame, won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Can't answer that? <laughs> of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up! Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? I believe that time would just be wasted. to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. That idiot! As loud as always, but his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now.
Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On Takamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamoshida and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... We have no other choice but to go along with it. Yes. It's best we agree. At least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? All right. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? Sana natuwa and surprise kayo sa episode natin today. Who would have thought na mahuhuli tayo ni Makoto, ba? Diba? Well, we have Ryuji, kaya given na yan, mahuhuli talaga tayo. <laughs> 
So I really enjoyed this part of the game talaga. Ewan ko ba? I'm really drawn to Makoto. She's so... She's so kawaii. Can't wait to see more from her. Next time, we'll start the investigation para sa next target natin, who is a big mafia boss. And once again, I know you'll enjoy this one if you like Makoto. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and continue supporting. Sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, hit mo na yung subscribe button and notification bell para updated kayo lagi. So, as always, stay safe guys and... Peace out.